Um, so we're in uh, Antioch, California, and we bought, brought the uh, barbershop forums to Antioch. And what the barbershop forum is, is a community law enforcement partnership. And what we aim to do is uh, build trust in the community. Uh, we're solution-based, and we want greater community involvement. Contra Costa County, that's all I can speak for right now. Contra Costa County, we are the second largest city. We have 114,000 population, and we have 96 sworn police officers. I will compare that to Concord, who has about 126,000 population. They have 156 police officers, so 60 more police officers than we do. And Richmond, which is about 113, 112,000 people, and they have about 170 to 177 police officers, depending upon what their staffing is right now. So we are basically looking at 60 to 80 officers less than other cities of comparable size. And so the staffing that we have, we have to staff the streets so that we can provide adequate public safety to our community. And so we do not have the staffing right now to put officers in the schools because we need them out on the streets. There's been a lot of you know negative connotations in, in the media about law enforcement, so we're just reaching out to the community so we can build this partnership, so we can come up with solutions instead of not just uh, you know saying the police aren't doing this or the community are, is not doing that. We come together as a partnership and uh, we come up with the solutions that we need to, to make our community safer. And I think that's one of the things that stems from the leadership in every organization. So I'll speak solely for the Antioch Police Department. I'm sure there's other command staff in here that will tell you something similar. It starts with the leadership. In my police department, people know you will treat everyone with dignity and respect. Whether or not you believe someone is worthy of your respect, you will treat them with respect. We are human beings, and that's what we're talking about. We are people. I am a father. I am a son. I am a brother. I am a husband. I mean, I am all these things, and I'm a, I'm a person just like everyone in this room, and I don't need to be taught how to treat someone with dignity and respect. That's what I did. I think very much that we did a great job of trying to connect the police officers and the uh, community together so that we could take away the fear from both sides, so that we can show uh, concern for our children, for our elderly, and for everybody that lives in this community. I was born in San Francisco and started off my life in Bayview Hunters Point. My first resident in Antioch was on Sycamore Drive. So for those of you who are familiar with this community, uh, I didn't come from, I'm a high school dropout. My father is a three strike felon, you know, so I, I didn't come from, you know, um, I, didn't, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I came from the streets as well. And I made myself to who I am today. Well, part of that is just because I treated people in my job with respect. I would see people who I arrested at the movie theaters. I live here. So I would arrest someone, I would see them later, and they would say hi to me. They saw me off duty, and they would come by and they would say hi. You know what? Okay, he treated me cool. He, you know, he, he treated me respect. So that's the message that I push down to my officers from the top to my command staff to my supervisors, all to the officers. They all know what I expect of them. And I think there are many other agencies who will have that same philosophy as well. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.